Welcome back to NASCAR 07. Right now I'm about to do race 18 of 36. I'm here at the Chicagoland Speedway here in Joliet, Illinois for the reign of the USG Sheet Rock 400. And guess what? I start on the pole for this race. So it's a good redemption so far after my 21st place finish at Daytona, which was because Akashi came out the wrong time. I looked like I had a top 5 for top 10 car if not a win at Daytona, but unfortunately, uh, Kasha came out at the wrong time, and I ended up finishing 21st, which means I dropped back to 5th in points, 106 points back off the points leader, Elliot Sadler, who won Daytona as well. Uh, so, hopefully, maybe I'll get my 5th win this season, get my 2nd win at the last 3 races, uh, remember I won Sonoma, so hopefully... Maybe I'll get my fifth win the season. Get a, have a good little redemption after Daytona. 32 laps here at Chicagoland Speedway. Here we go. Mark Martin on the outside in the second spot. Green flags out. We are underway here at Chicagoland Speedway. I was trying to get on the inside of Mark Martin. My car got sideways up the racetrack. We both saved it. I do lead the first lap. Mark Martin is still hanging tight behind me, though. But Scott Riggs going for second. So I did lead the first lap. I did get five bonus points. So at this point, I would be 101 points back. in second. Tony Stewart actually side by side with Scott Riggs for second. Then you got Jeff Gordon there behind as well. Jeff Gordon actually lost the points lead after the Daytona race after finishing 18th. Is Tony Stewart sneaking a peek underneath me? Yep, Tony Stewart trying to go for the race lead on me. off the corner. I'm in the grass. I'm back on the racetrack safe and sound. That was that was uh, almost a disaster. I did save it though. That grass didn't even slow me down surprisingly. I'm still in second. That can't that's hard to believe after that. Could have been a disaster. Now I'm going for the race lead on Tony Stewart. Oh, Tony Stewart led that lap. But we're side by side going into one. Oh, get off the apron, please. That would be nice. Am I clear? No, maybe? I don't know. No, I'm not. He's still there. Maybe I'll clear him here. Alright, I'm I cleared Tony Stewart. Whoa! Sideways off the corner once again. Leading the race, Tony Stewart second, uh, Jeff Gordon third, Dale Knight Jr. fourth, and it looks like that's Bobby Labonte in fifth. It's a yellow car. Yep, that's Bobby Labonte in fifth. And it looks like that's either Kurt Busch or Michael Waltrip in sixth. Jeff Gordon going for second on Tony Stewart. Leader Elliot Sadler is at. Jeff going underneath me for the race lead. Oh, but will he? Oh, man, tight right here. Jeff going does lead that lap to get five bonus points. So basically, we got nine more races until the. Well, after this race, it will be. Uh, eight more races before the chase. Oh, that was tight right here. Oh, man. I'm in a little trouble right here. 
Three wide for the race lead. Tony Stewart on the inside. I'm in the middle. Sideways off the corner. Tony Stewart has the race lead. Dale Knight Jr. is joined in this battle for the race lead. Going in the one. Underneath Tony Stewart for the race lead. With 24 laps to go. Tony Stewart is trying to squeeze me all the way down here to try to lose my momentum. Make me mess up the corner. Doesn't seem to work. It actually worked out better for me than him. Oh, I scraped the outside wall. Dale Knight Jr. going for second on Tony Stewart. Halfway on fuel. Pit stops will be coming soon. Dale Knight Jr. for second. And I believe he's trying to go for the race lead on me. Or at least he's trying to. Jeff going for third. Oh, that was very close. I'm not sure if I actually hit the outside wall or just give it a little kiss, but uh, it was definitely close. Jeff going for second on Dale Earnhardt Jr. Tony Stewart going for third on Dale Knight Jr. I will pit probably around lap 16. And I'm going to take all four tires if you're... Whoa! That side was there. Uh, right front tire worn down right now. Whoa! Jeff Gordon dives to the bottom of the racetrack going for the race lead in the turn number three. Hey, me and Jeff Gordon back allies. How about that? Oh, I led that lap. Side by side for the race lead. Dale Knight Jr. for third. Kurt Busch has joined in the mix here. 20 laps to go. Jeff Boyne and myself side by side for the race lead. Dale Knight Jr. third. Tony Stewart fourth. Kurt Busch fifth. Still hanging tight on the outside lane of Jeff Gordon. He went up. That was his fault. He, are we three wide? I think Dale Knight Jr. is on the inside of Jeff Gordon. Yep. Oh, no. Dale Knight Jr. for second. Trying to get around me. I get sideways off turn number two. Kept it under control. This is great racing, I tell you. Oh, three wide for second. Jeff Gordon washed up the racetrack. Oh, man. Oh, sideways off the corner. I backed off. I backed off. I got into Tony Stewart as well. Almost a disaster right there. Almost a wreck. Me and Tony... I just got to allies with Tony Stewart, and all of a sudden we both made contact. Now we lost that ally. Dale Knight Jr., the race leader. I had to back off whilst we were wrecked. That was almost a disaster. Oh, look at this. Let me dive to the bottom of the racetrack in the turns three. Going for the race lead as well. Not only for second, but for first. All right, I'm pitting this time by. Here comes some of the drivers pitting right now. I'm pitting this time by. Both front tires are worn down. Oh, no. No, no, no. Get back to the bottom. Here I come. Here I come. Oh, don't miss pit road, Joseph! Okay, I didn't miss pit road. I almost did. Uh, no need to... Alright, fine. <laughs> it's not gonna... Wow, I'm in the grass, too. Look at that. How am I on pit road? I'm in the grass. Alright, here we go. Wow, a lot of smoke up there. I don't know if someone's blowing up or what. Alright, no mistake on the pit stop, please. We are having a very good race. Let's not cost ourselves. So good on the right sides. Let's hopefully the left side be good. Ah, looks like it will be out in the way. Bobby Levine, Mark Tricks Jr. leaves out from me. Also, Jeremy Mayfield. And look at those drivers that pitted. Uh, oh, wait, no. Those aren't the drivers that pitted yet. 
uh, Dale Knight Jr. still stays out. He's still the race leader. Ryan Newman also came into the pits. He's right there behind me. Alright, so where will everything cycle through after all these green flag pit stops? Will I be the race leader? Will I be a little bit behind? Dale Knight Jr., the race leader, coming into the pits right now. As I'm trying to pass the custom gyros. Kurt Busch also pitting. Wow, I'm definitely not going to be the race leader. I'm not sure if I... I don't think... Nah, I'm not going to be in the top five either. That's Mark Moore in the head of me. Oh, no, that's Jeremy Mayfield. Okay, never mind. What am I thinking? With 15 laps to go, do I have time to catch up and maybe win this race? It's going to be awfully close. Kurt Busch out in the way. 14 laps to go. Whoa, Jeremy Mayfield cut down in front of me. Michael Watcher leaving the pits. Greg Biffle. Tony Raines. All right, I'll, I'm at least in the top 10. All right, Jeremy Mayfield, you better get out of my way because I'm going to try to get up to the front as soon as possible. Jeff Gordon, the race leader. 13 laps to go. I'm up to ninth. I'm three seconds back. Will I be able to catch up in time? I believe that's Kurt Busch in second and Dale Knight Jr. in third. 12 laps to go. Wow. I was Nick. I was 652 seconds back. <laughs> That's that. I should have been 10 la like 20 laps down by now. <laughs> Whoa! I got the hiccup there. Point two says I'm really gaining on the field. Ah, oh, damn! I'll be right back. Let me just apologize right now. I came back and literally forgot to push the record button. Luckily, you only missed a lap and a half, so I'm still running ninth. We're coming in the nine laps to go. I'm just coming off turn four right now, so I apologize about that. Forgot to push the record button until I looked up at my count. I'm like, oh my gosh. So here we go, back in the way. Nine laps to go. I'm 2.7 seconds back. Yeah, I was 2.2 seconds back, but I messed up coming off turn number two, and uh, that's what lost me some time. Let's see if I can do something now to catch these guys. Eight laps to go. I was 2.7 seconds back. I'm 2.3, 2.2 seconds back. So I don't know. It may be close. Remember Las Vegas in the third race of the season? This is basically the same track, mile and a half, except this back straightaway is curved. Catching Martin Truex Jr. right now. I pulled away from El uh, Jeremy Mayfield, so that's good. Seven laps to go. 1.7 seconds back. Battle for the race lead. I believe that's Dale Nott Jr. Yes, it is. Going for the race lead, and I'm going underneath Martin Truex Jr. for eight. So Dale Knight Jr., the race leader. You know, I noticed who's not up here. I believe the points, the points lead. No, it's it, Elliot Sadler's in the top five. Okay, never mind. He's running fifth. I thought Elliot Sadler, who is the points leader, that wasn't in the top ten. All right, six laps to go. Will I be making a charge? At least a fish in the top five. If I at least finish in the top five, that's a good point stay for me. Jimmy Johnson, I noticed that is in the top five in points. It's not, it's not uh, in the top ten. So I don't know where in the hell he's at. 
Five laps to go. Dale Knight Jr. leads. I'm ranked seventh. I just got around Dale Jarrett. Will I catch him? Look at the run I have. Although, now I got these worn tires. How would that affect my race car? Joseph! Hold on there. Four laps to go. I saved it. I think that just ruined my chance of winning, though. Or at least getting a top... At least a win. Maybe I can still make that charge. I gotta do something now. But how bad are my tires now? I really got sideways off the corner. We're coming to three laps to go this time by. Come on, Dale Jarrett. Move out of my way. Now I'm underneath him. Three laps to go. Dale Nutt Jr. leads. And I'm running seventh. or trying to get by seventh. Now I'm going for six. Both my front tires are gone. How would that affect my race car? Okay, so I can still at least finish in the top five if I could get up to Jeff Gorham, Bob Levine, Elliott Sadler, etc. Looks like I do have a chance. Laps to go here at Chicagoland Speedway. I gotta start making moves now. Whoa, got tied up the racetrack. Underneath Jeff going for the top five spot. Alright, this is where I need to start driving hard though. Here we go. Underneath Bobby Lapani. Can I get underneath Elliot Sadler? The Elliot Sadler is going to be the most I'm concerned about because he's going to be in my way. White flag is out. Final lap here at Chicago Land Speedway. Dale Knight Jr. leads. Kurt Busch second. Down the back straightway for the final time. It's not going to be a win for me, but looks like it could be a top five race for me. Can I get one more spot underneath Elliot Sadler for third? Oh, he's going to hit me. Maybe for second. Dale Knight Jr. wins the USG Sheetrock 400. And I finished third. Just barely missed out second between Kurt Busch. Man, what a great... That was an exciting race. A great race. So I started third and I finished... No, I, no what am I talking about? I started on the pole but finished third. That's okay. I'll take a third place finish. Dale Knight Jr. wins, Kurt Busch second, um, I finished third, Elliot Sadler, the points leader, fourth, Bobby Labonte fifth, Jeff Gorin sixth, Tony Stewart seventh, Dale Jarrett eighth, Montrose Jr. ninth, Tony Reigns rounds up the top ten, did anybody fall out of this race? Nope, just Reed Sorensen finishing last. Dang, almost got second spot, that was a good charge to finish third. You know what, if I didn't mess up on the front straightaway, I could have had a shot at the win. Uh, but that, you know, a few laps, to, we're coming to four laps to go. I got sideways off turn four, and I was just trying to control that car. Probably ruined my chance at a win, but it was a great charge for me. I know how to make the final lap charge. It's just that I got to be at the right place at the right time. So point standings after um, Chicagoland, Elliot Sadler and Jeff Gordon never even lost a point. Elliot Sadler came into the Chicagoland race 53 points up. It's once again 53 points above Jeff Gordon. Uh, Dale Knight Jr. that won the race is third in points, 600, I mean, no, 66 points back. I moved up to fourth in points, 91 points back, so I gained 15 points. And Jimmy Johnson rounds up the top five, 102 points back. And rounding up the top 10 is Tony Stewart, 392 points back. With eight races left before the chase, uh, a lot of you have been requesting me on showing the top 15. That's what it's like in the top 15 right now. Bobby Labonte, Kevin Harvick, Mark Marin, Marcio Jr., and Dale Jarrett. And uh, Bobby Labonte is 28 points back from the cutoff, chase cutoff. Next race is going to be at New Hampshire National Speedway for race 19 and 36 at, in the Loudoun, New Hampshire for the run of the New England 300. Guess what? We just reached the halfway point of the NASCAR 7 Let's Play. I will see you at New Hampshire.